everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. So as some of you may know, the Persian New Year is literally just around the corner and usually with that I do a full spring cleaning of my whole house and we're going to start right now. So I'm in my lovely robe. Obviously, how else would I clean, do my spring cleaning um, other than in my Versace robe? How Nina of me, right? So let's make the bed first. Um, I'm not the best person to make the bed, and I think I need new linens anyways. But um, I just wanted to say to everybody, all my Persians out there, happy almost Persian New Year. I'm really excited to like welcome in a brand new year with all of you, and even with all my non-Persians. You know, where I live in Beverly Hills, um, there's a huge population. So we actually even have like banners on sunset that say happy no Rus for the Persian New Year. And it's a really exciting time because it's also Blair's birthday. And with that said, last night I took her to Nobu. So good. It was so good. And you know, I'm not a big like sushi person. Like on my own, I wouldn't like crave sushi. But Nick, it was delicious. Well, obviously it's the number one like restaurant, you know, for sushi. One of the top, right? So we went to the one in West Hollywood because they actually have a big outdoor space. So they're able to, like we're able to reserve a reservation much easier than Malibu because indoor dining still not open. But I actually had- some... It is Monday. Is that it? Yeah, Monday. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So I had, I actually had um, some tuna, I had some sushi, I had a salad, a mushroom soup, which I didn't care for so much, but it looked super cute and healthy. And then they have cooked items too. So it was delicious. And she got three desserts and sang her happy birthday. So it wasn't her, but it's a pre-birthday dinner. It's going to be like a week of celebration. And I think she wants a computer monitor for her birthday. So she's going to let me know sooner than later so I can buy her that. Come on, Nick, let's vacuum a little bit. Are you doing spring cleaning, Nick, in your place? Of course. Well, you do spring cleaning like every day. Every single day. You're a very clean person. We have to be. Exactly. And I'm so excited for partnering up with my DreamTech T10 cordless vacuum cleaner. I was just charging it because I knew- Oh! My goodness! It's like just- oh, it's so fast. Anyways, I was just charging it right here. This is literally my most favorite vacuum. First of all, it is so sleek and modern and it's so beautiful. Like I've never ever seen a cute vacuum cleaner. And you guys know that usually like I have my housekeeper do everything. But today I'm actually motivated to do the spring cleaning because I feel so chic in my Versace robe in my dream T10. <laughs> no, don't laugh, Nick. This is, you have to be fashionable even when you clean your home. You know what I mean? And you know what? You guys can use it on like wood surfaces. Look at this. So nice. You can use it obviously on carpet and it has a setting of, look here. So on the power, you can have one, two, three. Obviously I'm gonna do three because I want it to be really powerful. It is really easy to clean once everything gets filled up in there. And then I haven't mounted mine yet because I don't know where I want it, but I just wanted to show you guys that you can actually mount this like to the wall and you can hang it for convenience. You should do it in the laundry room. Well, that's what I'm thinking. So I just gotta get my handyman. And then this is like the charger which goes along with that. Oh, and you have different compartments. So this is actually an extension hose. This is really nice. Let me show you guys, see? So if you need to get into longer, I've never seen a vacuum with this. And the quality- I've in years, of that, like, cause my mom used to have an old one like that, but really? they don't make it those anymore. No, but this is That's so good. nice. And the quality is really nice, you guys. Okay, and look, like when you store it and you mount it, you can actually store like the little compartments here. So this is for tiny little crevices. And you guys need, know me, how I need a clean house and even the tiniest crevices have to be cleaned up. And this is like a two-in-one little brush for just the smaller spaces. This is a multi-one, a little bit larger than that. So you can pretty much get to do anything you want. So let's vacuum all the way to the bedroom because we're starting in the bedroom today. See how nice that is? And it's really so low weight and just super chic. And you know what okay. Oh yes, we have some stuff here. And somewhere like this, for example, you could switch it to the one that has the mini brush and do that, you know? So for example... Are you going to get under the bed? Oh, yes, I am! Oh, it's dirty under there! Look at that! Is it? Oh my god, so much dust goes up. You don't clean under your bed, Nina June? Uh, Myra's supposed to, though. <laughs> she does all the time, but it really gets dusty in this house really gets super uber dusty. Look at all the dirt in there already. Look at that. Let me see. Ooh. Dust, it's a lot of dust. 
see like right there that's where the crevice one would go really well yeah. so you could clean in that and this is honestly the cutest vacuum i've ever seen in my life okay you guys so i'm gonna continue cleaning i can't wait to get in the closet i have like carpet there so i can't wait to do that i'm so excited but I also have a promo code and it's gonna be in the link in the bio down below. Yeah, you can get $90 off your own T10. So make sure you go get it and make sure you also follow the Dream Tech team on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube and get your own and use my code. Let's keep cleaning. What is all this mess, wife? I've just gotten a little lazy these days. I don't know why. I just keep trying things on, wear them, and then like, I don't know, we'll just put it, everything away. Um, actually, I have to like, oh my god, get ready for the Persian New Year. What are you gonna do? What do you, like, what, like, what do you do for Well, that? usually, obviously, you do spring cleaning, and then, um, you get a new outfit for spring, you know? Um, we set our table, the, for the Persian New Year, with like the eggs, and the flowers Aww. and you know that little setup um what else so yeah just that and usually you'd go visit like family friends and stuff like that because of covid it's going to be limited you know um even though things are opening up little by little i'm so yeah. excited everything's opened up monday that's what you were saying and also concerts are starting at 70 percent occ occupancy Occup you just have to wear a mask i don't know what i think after well, no, I think you still have to. I spoke to a publicist who works for a really yeah. large company in this last week, and she was saying that till July, people are going to have to wear masks, but after that, for people to come, they're going to reevaluate it after July, so potentially no masks after July. I, I can't even imagine that. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know how to live life like that. The, do you know what I mean? It's like, I just don't know. Because like, we're, now we're so accustomed to the mask. Now we're so accustomed it's to like the mask. It's like wearing shoes these days. Yeah exactly and like i obviously being a dentist i've worn masks in the office but the thing is like i would put on like when i was communicating with the difference now is like when i was communicating with the patients regarding treatment or how are you what's going on i wouldn't necessarily have my mask up because i would put mm. my mask on when i go close to them or whatnot but now it's all the time in a face shield so it's it's gonna it's gonna take a new change did but, you wear a mask so like if like the reflex of spitting on you so you wouldn't get spit on yeah but so what, what i usually used to do before which i don't even know if i really actually remember what i used to do before so i'd walk into the room introduce myself or say hi again if they like hi i'm dr Rudy, whatever um go to the computer take a look at their x-rays talk to them about their symptoms hi mom dad uh, any issues with the kids teeth anything you want me to pay particular attention to or what's going on right all of that my mask was usually down here mm -hmm. you know or i didn't even have a mask yet right you know then i when i'm about to go do the exam i grab a new mask put that on you know and then gloves and then do the exam and then once I'm done with that, gloves come off, mask comes off, throw it out, and I get a new one for the next patient. And at that point, when I was talking, I'm not with the patient right there. The second right. I'm on the patient, I had it out. As soon as I was done, and I'm over here washing my hands, waiting for the next patient, and talking to him about, well, this is a treatment, uh, like, a Billy needs or whatnot, my mask wouldn't be on. Right. So it's that's the difference. And the difference now is I have, sorry, I like swallowed my own spit. The difference now is I have the mask on like 24-7. So that's it. Got it. I still love these one shoulder sweaters. Dolly Parton wore it to get her like vaccine and they were calling it like the vaccine shirt. It was very similar to yours. Like, okay, excuse me. I think I, just like the double Chanel purses, I brought this in. And for you guys who might not have seen my vaccine video and go watch it, I literally wore this because the shoulders down and then they could easily go in. I said, this is my fashion for the vaccine. It was perfect. It, right. But Dolly, I've been a fan of yours forever, so we'll give the credit to you. Don't you worry, sweetheart. I love her, by the way. She Me is too. just fabulous. Like, class act. Are we getting somewhere here? So I, I, it's, it's going to be weird, like, going to places and doing things. Like, last night, like, going to Nobu, like, we sat outside, obviously. But, like, it seemed like people are less and less, like, you know, at the beginning, everybody was really scared, right. you know? But people seem a little bit more like relaxed about the whole situation right you know well because i think we're like seeing the light yeah i think so and i think as like the weather gets warmer a little bit you know more more people are vaccinated like for me i went back and forth about the vaccine nick and you know that mm -hmm. and um 
but i finally got it i got the pfizer one you guys and i have two really good videos if you're gonna go uh, get the vaccine it tells you uh, like the process and the symptoms after and whatnot that i experienced so go watch it you have a lot of jeans i do have a lot of jeans should we go buy more jeans <laughs> sure i recently got into a shopping mode so i'm gonna have a shopping spree very soon i don't know i feel like with like spring coming persian new year i should go and do something you know what i mean right um what was i saying Oh yeah, so now I'm actually really happy that I did get the vaccine because I feel like, okay, like with me going out to dinner, like taking Blair out for her birthday, like I feel a, an extra hint of like protection, you know, even though it's not 100%, but I just feel better. Right. And I feel better because I really went through the symptoms. <laughs> and you're done. And I'm done, apparently. I'm done for now. But did the uh, Johnson & Johnson one come out yet? It did. Really? I do know someone, Billy Idol got it. Oh, and is that a one dose? It's a one dose. So that's a lot more convenient than going twice. But Correct. when I, I got the Pfizer one, what are your thoughts on getting it, Nick? Oh, I, I can't wait. I just have to wait because I got the flu shot. So when you get the, which I normally get every single year. Yeah. But when you get the flu shot, you have to wait 30 days before you can get the vac uh, the vaccine. Oh, that's right. So you I got mine on the 21st. But so now... April 21st, I can finally get mine. Okay. So, but now you are able to get it. On May 1st, everyone above the age 18 can, it's a free for all. Go get it. Okay. But okay. I can get it due to work. What is it? I can get it early because of work. Above work. Oh, got it. But you're not like, and then what about kids? Have they said anything? Because I don't watch the news, you guys. That's why I ask everything from Nick. I think 16 and over. Yeah. I don't, I don't think they really want young... I don't know what they're doing for younger kids. I don't, I don't think they know what the symptoms might be. Right. And I don't blame them. All right, you guys, now that I've cleaned up my clothes, let's vacuum. Wow. Looks so good. Looks like we got brand new carpet. <laughs> that's fabulous oh my god and this is a great workout who knew i'm the new vacuum queen where are you Thank taking you. blair what where are you taking blair oh she's going out with her friend isabella they're where? gonna go out to lunch i'm um, somewhere in like weho melrose oh, they're fun. let's go like spy on them yes okay all they do is eat though and like all they do is TikTok. eat and TikTok and get gelato. So thank you so much, Dream T10, for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys go use my promo code for $90 off. Honestly, you guys, this is like one of the best vacuums I've ever used in my life, and I've only used the best of the best. With that said, you guys, um, happy spring, happy health. Um, I'm really looking forward to celebrating the Persian New Year with all of you and sharing a little bit of my culture. Make sure you go follow Dream 10 on all their Tech. stuff. Make sure you go follow Dream Tech on all their socials. I love you guys so much. Keep healthy, keep happy. And remember, I love you guys so much. Keep vlogging. Oh, and keep vlogging. <laughs> <laughs>